So we are joined by another brother from Darga and uh, Darga of Molana. So we are going to ask, brother, what's your name? Uh, my name is Kenan uh, Aksoy, but they call me Haji Kenan locally. Okay, so Haji Kanan, uh, why do they call you Haji Kanan? Uh, what's the, uh, uh, I mean... Yeah, because may Allah accept, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept one of the five pillars of Islam, uh, as you know, is to go to Hajj. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Allah granted me back in 1999 to do my Hajj. And only if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepting, then you become a Hajj. But everyone sees it, call me Haji Kanan, Haji Baba. And when we Hajj. say Kanan, what's the relation uh, uh, with Kanan? My name is, uh, my name through my generations in the last uh, eight to nine hundred years that I have been able difficultly to search. My name is comes from the, the land of Kanan, which is mentioned both in the Bible and the Holy, you know, our holy books. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, my name has got to me through that. It's a family name reaching me from the land of Canaan. So how did you uh, uh, come to know uh, Molana uh, Sheikh Nadin? Uh, how, how did you come into contact? Well, um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted me around um, 35, 36 years ago. Uh, I used to live in the UK, uh, I used to work for the railways, and I had a European life. As mm -hmm. we can, uh, uh, I was living all the things that are against Islam, basically a long life as mm -hmm. you, in Europe. Um, but uh, I got uh, so deeply into that um, uh, wrong life that uh, um, I found myself up to my up to my nose uh, in, in a swamp. Uh, they saying, and uh, Alhamdulillah, Allah made a wasila, and uh, uh, basically, I, um, I'm, I, I, a Turkish Cypriot friends of mine who were followers of Sheikh Nazim, mm -hmm. granted me, uh, uh, granted, they asked me during those difficult times that I should see uh, a holy man from Cyprus, that uh, he would pray for me, and they believed that my problems would be solved. So uh, my heart was open for that, and I was in the swamp so deep, uh, probably couldn't breathe anymore. Mm -hmm. And uh, they took me to uh, what they, was a house in London, not a center before, many, many years, in them years. They took me there to see Sheikh Nazim, Molana Sheikh Nazim, but um, uh, there was around 200 people sitting down and listening to his soft bed. And me, I was right at the back. As I entered the big hall, the big room, there was no space to sit down. It was so crowded. But I looked at Molana, and uh, with that look, uh, something spiritual happened to me from his heart uh, what I believe was halo nur in Islam uh, struck me so fast within uh, hundreds of a second and, and nailed me to the ground that I couldn't get up and I was shivering and I, I thought I was dying and I thought I was in a dream but it was real and, and then but I couldn't get to see him that day because there were so many people around and I asked uh, the friend who took me to him, I said, I must see him. He is, he is my master. Whoever he is, I belong to him. I have to, he's my teacher. I have to go to him. Mm -hmm. And uh, we flew to Cyprus the following week mm -hmm. to Lefke here, mm -hmm. where we are. And uh, he saw me the first time and he um, hugged me. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said, he asked where I came from to the brother where I he said in London he couldn't get to see you, so he's been pressurizing me to come, uh, and we are here, and he told me that I would like you to be with me next Ramadan in the UK. I want you to be my, um, be around me, and uh, your knowledge
village of London, I believe, is uh, very good. I want you to drive me to the necessary places if, if you can, and I want you to be with me and translate some things in English for me. And that's how it all started. You uh, narrated a, a, a connection or uh, an, uh, an event of uh, Sultan Brunei, uh, if you can uh, Yes, I mean, uh, uh, you see, to find a real saint or awliya Allah nowadays mm -hmm. is virtually impossible. Mm -hmm. uh, as you heard from my previous brothers, or uh, from my brother that basically we we uh, we drink water from the top uh, in all the countries and sometimes the, 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 the water in the top runs out for days and weeks and there's no water and in my country it's like that as well mm -hmm. there are some times where the tubs there's not enough water mm -hmm. to go around and the local council uh, to, uh, they stop it for a few days and allow you a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now, in, in our lives and in my life, mm -hmm. uh, I'm grateful to Allah that it granted me a fountain. And the fountain is Molana, mm -hmm. Sheikh, and it's such a pure, clear water, and you drink it and it satisfies your soul, it satisfies your body, it satisfies everything in your life. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, uh, I am thankful to Allah. Uh, I could have been granted to live in that uh, horrible uh, drugs and life of the Westerns. But Alhamdulillah, Allah granted me to take me from that and to put me with the one that he loves. And I am very grateful for that. And it's now been around 36 years. SubhanAllah. And uh, the, there was an event uh, you mentioned yesterday with regards to the check and uh, buying the land in the London. Uh, yeah. Uh, sorry, um, a local brother um, had passed yesterday that had been not uh, lived next door to the Dergand, apparently. We didn't know that his burial was today, and I've just been told yeah, yeah. that uh, Maulana's grandson had been at the, uh, at the burial. Hmm, yes, yeah. you were saying about uh, the, the, the Sultan of Brunei yeah. is also a follower of our uh, spiritual leader. Yeah. And Sultan of Brunei is um, the wealthiest person in the world. Yeah. He had been granted a vision that he saw Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam visit him on a horse, a white horse, and next to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was our Sheikh, Mawlana Sheikh Nazim. And uh, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam uh, asked Sultan of Brunei to do something for Islam through our Sheikh. Mm. So automatically he saw, uh, he looked up and saw uh, our uh, leader, and then he didn't know any name or anything. And when the vision was over, he had been looking uh, sleeplessly for months and months, and eventually in London, he got to us, uh, because I was translating for Mulana, he, he sent his ministers, mm -hmm. and that he uh, asked for a meeting, which uh, they saw, and he uh, he asked, what can I do for Islam? Mm -hmm. And uh, Mawlana said, well, we are in the process of uh, looking for a, we, there is a, we found a place next to the house that we are praying at the moment, and at that moment, the Sultan of Brunei ordered his ministers for this place to be bought, and to be renovated and uh, to be given uh, to Molana. And Molana said, I wouldn't take it on my name, but has to be done according to Islam, Waqf style. Mm -hmm. And he, uh, Sultan of Brunei, Allah bless him, 
he, he bought the place, uh, got it renovated, and handed it to the Wakif, and uh, he also ordered an, an, an eternal um, account to be uh, pro paying for the expenses of the place, and that he was a humble servant for our sake. Now, um, these things, uh, as you've been uh, uh, interviewing some brothers, our Nakshibendi Tarikat here, uh, we have followers from all directions of the world. We have, we have a, a Dr. Rahman brother in Chile, in south of Argentina, in the southernmost point of the world. He's a doctor, and and he, in that area, we have a derga, in the most southern point of the world. And uh, the example of um, about 15, 18 years ago, of some miners, as the world noticed in Argentina, when they were stuck under the ground, uh, for months, for I believe for about two months, and they didn't even know nothing about Islam. Mm. Uh, they didn't know, they hadn't seen anyone uh, in Islam mm. in their lives, but they were trapped in that um, mine, yeah. uh, so many kilometers below the earth level. Yeah. And uh, they, um, they saw Molana uh, went to them spiritually and comforted them to say that I am here, I'm supporting you. When you will come out, you will go back to your normal lives. Come and see me. You will be okay. I am uh, uh, spiritually supporting you. Uh, do not uh, worry. And after I believe, I believe around 57 days, or if, if I'm wrong, or something like that, when they eventually they were brought out to the surface in the tubes. Uh, they, when they were asked what they want, uh, about 15, 20 of them, most of them said, we want to go to Cyprus. We want to meet our spiritual leader. And uh, that's what we want. And this was all in the papers. They came here and they took bayat and beca they became Muslims. Yeah. Now, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there are so many um, proofs, so many doctors and so many different, um, uh, so many different uh, branches of work around the world, so many, that in their point, uh, still up to today, uh, experiencing spiritual connections and coming to visit our our Molana Sheikh Nazim here. Uh, he's uh, uh, Makam. He's uh, resting here. He's um, he is uh, traveling. Went through here to the other side. Alhamdulillah. Mm. May Allah grant him Jannah. Uh, as I said, and when you find that uh, spring water, yeah. you'd be stupid to go back to the top water. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, this I, is yeah. the tariqa. The people have uh, been coming from America, uh, uh, around the world. I, I've seen so many farmers uh, yes. converted to Islam and following the tariqa. And uh, uh, th there is uh, hugely um, uh, one noticeable uh, change in everybody's uh, personality. Uh, after uh, coming into this tariqa, I am going to ask you yourself uh, w w what change has it brought into your life uh, after uh, seeing the Sheikh Maulana Sheikh uh, Nazim Rahman um, and what changes do you see in yourself? Well, Alhamdulillah uh, Rabbin Alameen, my changes from my previous uh, life, that is, before meeting Molana, before coming into Islam, and uh, mine happened uh, so quickly in 24 hours when I met him, from the moment that that halo came upon me, and the moment that I come and kiss his hand here in Cyprus, 
uh, I was carrying with me five addictions. And um, as my previous brother mentioned also in his life when he was young in Germany, I was in the UK involved uh, in uh, lots of alcohol. I was addicted to alcohol. I was addicted to smoking cigarettes. I used to smoke 80 cigarettes a day. That's uh, four packets of cigarettes a day. I used to uh, have um, European life, a lot of girlfriends being young and being in the UK. And I used to um, uh, also gamble a lot. And I also used to um, uh, smoke a lot of wheat. I used to smoke a lot of uh, wheat. But uh, alhamdulillah, thanks God, uh, from the moment I met Melana, when he hugged me, uh, and that halo that I saw through him that uh, is unexplainable, uh, but I live this, so... Um, the following day, my five addictions completely came to an end, and this has now been 36 years that I have never gone back to any one of them. SubhanAllah. Thank you very much, uh, Hadi Kanan. It was an honor speaking to you uh, with regards to uh, uh, Maulana Sheikh Nazim Rahmanullah And uh, if uh, there is anything further to ask, I will definitely come back to you. Jazakumullah uh, khair. Inshallah. What's your last uh, words uh, with regards to the Tariqa? Alhamdulillah, we are living in very difficult days uh, now with this so called COVID. Um, virus and uh, we believe everything is from Allah uh, and although some uh, this may be planned by uh, some countries or whoever uh, without Allah's permission uh, no one will go but at the same time we must take our precautions and then leave it to Allah but nowadays my my advice to a lot of young ones especially, and a lot of people is that, uh, try to find the reason why you are living in this world. Uh, try to find the truth. And when you start searching, pray to Allah to grant you a, a holy one that he loves, which we strongly believe one lies here, and try to guide your ego not to uh, overcome your decisions. Try to control your ego like you control a horse when you're riding a horse. Mm -hmm. And if you do that even a little bit, try to find a holy one around the world that you can take advice that you know that is the truth and will get you to the truth. Assalamu alaikum.